Is there a Marcus in the house? No Marcus today? They call you Marcus as a nickname. I feel like this is a confidence builder that I'm about to give you. You just got a spot on. <laughs> spot on. Yeah, I've been praying for Are healing, you but let's go. Okay. Can we walk? Come on. God gave me a name during a revival service, and it caused an amazing miracle to happen. Is there a Marcus in the house? A Marcus? M-A-R... There's no Marcus? Mark? No Marcus today? So during this service, I got a name. And you're going to notice I call the name out, and it takes me quite a while to get somebody to act on the name. I want to see if there's one in the house. Is there, is there a man with the name M? Marcus. They call him Marcus? They call you Marcus as a nickname. And this is the second time this has happened to me that I've gotten a name that is a nickname and it took people a little while for it to register. But I think it's very unique that God will call somebody by their nickname because it shows the detail in how much he actually knows them. Everybody's saying it, it ain't my fault. So they do call him Marcus. I might stay on the stage because we're the same height right here. <laughs> Who's with you? Your wife? Two step kids? Okay. <laughs> are you, are you, are you, okay, okay. Now you're the wife. Is there a reason God's highlighting him? I don't tell me. You would know. I feel like this is a confidence builder that I'm about to give him. You just got a spot on. <laughs> spot on. <laughs> We're going to give you a confidence builder, okay? Come on. <laughs> Do you, I, I, it's not my fault, man. <laughs> God did it, all right? So hold on. Marcus, the Lord obviously wants to do something special with you, with him, okay? I know that you've took the reins for a while and drove, drove in the ship, and things have been, but things are about to make a turn. Hallelujah. And, and you're about to have the man that you know that you're supposed to have. Come on! Yes! Right. Thank you, Lord! He's like, man, I saw what appeared to be, I don't know why I'm seeing school students, Prophesied last week that it's young adults it that he'll be adults. working with. Oh my gosh. It is young adults. So after I'd finally gotten this guy to let me know that that is actually his name, I started to prophesy. And what really blew their mind was how accurate the prophecies were. You see the woman, she gets very excited. The guy, he's a little bit more laid back, but she's like, oh my goodness, this is it. So that's why I love to prophesy, because it edifies, encourages, builds up, and also corrects so you can be projected into your call and destiny. So I want to encourage you guys, make sure you learn to prophesy. So I've noticed when I prophesy sometimes, it takes people a little while to register what is being said. I mean, first of all, they're probably in shock they've been called out. And second of all, they're probably not used to the prophetic realm to that degree. Now, it really depends on where you go. Some places have been taught well about what prophecy is and, and how it works and things like that. So it just depends on where you're going. But in this situation, you're going to see that I pulled this man forward. I don't think he was super familiar with how prophecy works, but I called him forward and I told him, I said, hey, it's time for you to come to the front because I can tell he was kind of a background type guy and he was a really tall guy too. So I called him to the front and I could see some insecurities there and some things that are going on, which is common to a lot of people. And I let him know that, hey, it's time to come forward. And 
in the body of Christ, let's just be real, it's time for men to stand up and be who they are called to be in Christ. And that is the leaders of the home and also the protectors, the providers, all of that. So men, I want to encourage you, step up. It's time. We need real men of God in this hour that can lead in Jesus' name. Yeah, and keeping people in direction. Exactly. Putting people in direction. We call people like you what I call a prophetic evangelist. Oh, wow. (sighs) Prophetic evangelist. Oh, wow. You win souls and you put them in the right direction. (laughs) Amen. May the glory of the Lord be your portion. And may the grace of God increase. And you will do it together. You will see the man that you have seen become the man that he's supposed to become. You will do this together. Today, the power of the Lord will come upon you, change you forever. Can you come here and let me pray for you really fast? Is that okay? Just just step it all over, man. Come on through. I hope pastor don't get mad at me. Oh, goodness. I'll I'll buy a new chair. Let me pray for you. I see I'm in a good spot. (laughs) Get a photo. Yeah. May the glory of God be your push. Ooh. Thank you. It's his. You come here too. Quick, quick, quick. Hallelujah. Come on, quick, quick, quick. Quick, quick, quick. So if I hadn't have got this name, and this was near the end of service, actually. So if I hadn't have got this name, then this moment that you're about to watch would have not happened. You can't. Oh, you came for healing? Oh. You can. Hold my hand. But there was something interesting with her. And I actually got to pray with her. And you're about to see a mighty, mighty miracle take place. It's time, okay? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, the weight comes off, okay? Yeah. It's the hip? Yeah. I had a fall at work. I worked with children. I fell. And it was May. And yeah, I've been praying for healing. But let's go. Okay. In the mighty name of Jesus. I command this hip be completely healed. (laughs) Cover her, cover her. (laughs) Yeah. We're going to pick you up. You'll walk. Give me two men on the sides of her, please. Two strong ones. You can help if you want, Pastor. Buzzing. Well, let's get you up and see you walk. You will, you will. You'll walk. Can we walk? Come on. Come on. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you're walking better for sure. Wow. Wow. Come on. You're walking better. I don't have much pain left. There's only a little bit left. Only a little bit? Yeah. we got to oh finish it. Let's go. Come on. Raise your hands to the Lord. All the way. All the way. In the mighty name of Jesus. Walk, walk, walk. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. (laughs) Hallelujah. Thank you for being such a beautiful vessel for the Lord. Uh, Thank you. Well, it's all about His grace, Father. Amen. Amen. Oh, my gosh. May you do it for other people. Always. May you heal the sick, cast out demons, and perform miracles for the glory of God. Yes, and amen. your portion. Amen. Amen. may you do it with Him. Amen. Hey, the glory of the Lord has visited your household. You're in trouble, big man. In a good way. In Jesus' name. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Texas. Hey guys, it's me, Isaiah Poche, and well do I have a testimony for you. I'm here with Mark and Michelle. Praise God. Guys, first of all, I know I know what you're thinking. Did Isaiah shrink? <laughs> yes, I did. He's not really that tall. I just shrunk. You ever seen mom? I shrunk the kids. Honey, I shrunk the kids. This is what's happening. It's like my brother Mark here is 6'10". It's just, it's just, wow. But men of God, today the Lord has done something. Besides give you supernatural height, he has blessed you today. Could you tell me in a few words what happened? The apostle um, just gave a word of confirmation that I've heard like in the past that I'll be teaching people and helping the young adults and uh, it's just been confirmed today and just that confidence boost to actually go forward and, and actually yeah, mm. step out in the faith and proceed with what, what my calling is on my life. You, you said something that caught my attention, you said what you've heard before. So you're telling me he's never met you, you never spoke to him before prior? No. And he spoke to you something that you've already heard before, almost like as a confirmation of what God has already been speaking to you. Yeah, that's well, exactly it. Just a, another confirmation from someone who I've never met. Wow. Yeah. I, I, I think this is time to take that word to the bank and cash it in. I think you have gotten multiple checks that you can take to the bank, cash it in, and it won't bounce. Okay? It won't get declined. Uh, so I say take confidence in this word. You know, And Timothy, like he brought up earlier, we use prophecy to war. So in reality, it's not to put faith in the ability of ourselves, but in the word that God has spoken over us. So it's not like you have confidence in Mark, but you have confidence in what God has spoken over Mark, because that's what gives you the strength and that's what gives you the word. So to run to the bank with that, you know, cash it in. Woman of, woman of God, the Lord has also touched you. Yes. Tell me what happened. Okay, I had an accident in May. I worked with children and I had a quite a bad fall and the doctor said nothing's wrong with my right hip and I haven't been able to lay on my hip when I sleep. I haven't been able to walk properly, um, sit down properly without any pain. And um, Daniel prayed over me and the pain's gone and I was walking up and down and then he blew the breath of the Lord on me and I got back up and I was running up the front and the pain's gone. So good. Wow, you were running. And I was following her. You were running and I was following her and you were running fast. So praise God. What would, what would you say to people that don't think this is real? Well, I haven't been in the faith that long, only about four years. And the things that I've seen and heard now and this, to have that much pain that I've been in and to now be free of it, like just believe, believe and receive and I did, and I've got my miracle. And I thank the Lord, and I thank Daniel for being such a vessel. I already hear first, guys. The Lord is moving in Australia, Amen. and he's moving powerfully. Guys, I want you to know this. If you haven't already, become a forerunner. Because people all over the world are being impacted, not just by apostles but forerunners also here in Australia. So guys, if you haven't already, go to www.thesupernaturallife.org and become a forerunner. And for now, here in Surfer's Paradise, guys, it is finished in Jesus' name. Wow, what an amazing testimony for the glory of Jesus Christ. Isn't it wonderful that prophecy can work very well with the other gifts. You'll start to prophesy, then the other gifts will just come right into play. And I believe that's why Paul told us, I desire that you all prophesy. Desire that gift. That is the gift that you want to prophesy because it's gonna unlock doors in people's lives. It's gonna bring even greater things. So you wanna see people healed, you wanna see people delivered, you wanna see miracles, add a little prophecy on there too. And I promise you, it'll be bigger than you ever thought. So anyway, if it's your first time watching this, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, like and share. And if you want to learn to prophesy and you want to learn to move in the mighty, mighty, mighty power of Jesus Christ, then go to www.thesupernaturallife.org and become a forerunner. That means you'll be able to be discipled through this ministry to do amazing things. I promise you this, anybody that connects with this ministry starts operating in the supernatural power of God because this is a ministry that believes in the Ephesians 4, 11, 12 thing that says the apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher is for the equipping of the saints for the works.
of ministry. We are a five-fold global ministry, and we believe that we are supposed to go out into all the world and preach the gospel and see disciples be made and watch this world change for the glory of Jesus Christ. We want heaven populated and hell depopulated. We don't want people going to hell. We want people going to heaven. So if you want to be one of those people that help us cast that big net across the earth, literally, go to the supernaturallife.org and become a forerunner today. Okay, guys, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this amazing Supernatural video, and I'll see you on the next one. For now, it is finished. See you guys soon.